Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that around 40,000 people had been evacuated from a number of Ukrainian cities on Thursday but accused Russian forces of targeting a humanitarian corridor in the city of Mariupol. One of the main tasks for us today was the organization of humanitarian corridors Sumy, Trostinets, Krasnopilya, Irpin, Butka, Hostomel, Izium. Within this day, we have already managed to evacuate almost 40,000 of our people to give them security in Poltava, Kyiv, Cherkasy, Zaposia, Nipro, Lviv, Zelensky said in a video address on his Telegram channel. He said, humanitarian aid, food and medicine were delivered. Mariupol and Volnovoka, however, remain completely blocked. CNN quoting, Zelensky reported adding that despite Ukrainian officials' best efforts to make the corridor work, Russian troops did not cease fire. Regardless of this, Zelensky said he still decided to send a convoy of trucks carrying food, water and medicine. But the invaders started a tank attack exactly in the area where the corridor was supposed to be corridor of life for the people of Mariupol, the president said, CNN reported. Earlier on Thursday, local authorities in the besieged Ukrainian city of Mariupol said Russian forces have begun dropping bombs on the Green Corridor designated to evacuate Mariupol residents, CNN reported. Reacting to Russia's allegations that biological weapons were made in Ukrainian laboratories, President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that no chemical or any other weapons of mass destruction were developed in his country. In his latest video address posted on Facebook on Friday morning, Zelensky said, I am the president of an adequate country and adequate nation and the father of two children and no chemical or any other weapons of mass destruction were developed on my land. The whole world knows that, you know that. And if Russia do something like that against us, it will get the most severe sanctions response. News Desk, Global.